Tonight we're learning new details about the teenage killer. Officials saying he spent 40 minutes to an hour inside the school before a member of the U.S. Border Patrol shot and killed him. We have several reports tonight, starting with Josh Heiniger following the latest developments. He's in the newsroom. Josh? Well, Sade Rob Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas, may be just the latest place of learning to be thrust into the endless national debate on guns, but in many ways it's far too late to have that debate in Uvalde. A small community drowning in unfathomable pain. They were little kids, but still old enough to dream. They played sports and musical instruments. They were planning their summers. Their whole lives lay ahead of them until a teenager they'd never met armed himself to the teeth legally and slaughtered them all. <laughs> Somebody would have hurt my baby. Now Uvalde, Texas is a cauldron of grief after one person stole so much from families like the Rubios, the parents of 10-year-old Lexi. She went to go to law school. Law school. Yeah, at St. Mary's, because that's where I go. This is sweater she was wearing. <laughs> and she played softball. She played basketball. Because I wanted to take her life. <laughs> All I can hope is that she's just not a number. Hopefully something gets resolved. Her father, Felix, is a sheriff's deputy here and was part of the frantic response to his daughter's school yesterday when the shooter barricaded himself inside a classroom at Robb Elementary and opened fire. We just hear all kinds of gunshots going off, like nonstop, like constantly gunshots. And the world here all scared on the ground, fearing for our life. The shooter, a high school dropout, turned 18 just nine days ago. And the very next day went out and, without a license, bought the first of two AR-15 style rifles, a transaction that in Texas is perfectly legal. Along with them, he bought multiple high-capacity magazines and 375 bullets. But there was nothing illegal about that either. Large-capacity magazines aren't regulated in Texas. Instead, the governor says the first hint the shooter might have been up to no good came just half an hour before the attack in private messages on Facebook. The first post was, I'm going to shoot my grandmother. The second post was, I shot my grandmother. The third post, maybe less than 15 minutes before arriving at the school was, I'm going to shoot an elementary school. At the school, armed law enforcement saw him coming and traded shots with the shooter, but failed to neutralize him before he burst into the school through a back door. He locked himself inside that classroom and gunned down those 19 children and two teachers. And now this small rural district has ended its school year early as it stares in the face of so much loss. My heart was broken today for a small community and we will need your prayers to get us through this. ABC News has viewed text messages between the shooter and a girl he met online in which he suggested he was arguing with his grandmother over a cell phone bill and that's when he shot her in the face and set in motion the massacre at the school not far away. At last report, the grandmother was still in critical condition.